Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Winter Sloth Plays City Skylines and welcome back to City Skylines campus here at Rock Valley. Now, obviously it's been a couple of days since I've played this last so I have played a little bit off camera since we lasted the episode when we decided to actually build the industry and stuff over here. So obviously I've now built a bit more residential demand here, built a nice road here. We've got a nice path here, which I don't think many people are using at the moment. I've built a train station here with the idea that I want to turn this into my first campus area. So we're going to get our first campus today. Just so it's nice sort of on the hill, it goes, you've got the underground highway going underneath. I've also, let me show you, I've also put in a train track, which is probably very wrong ways pretty much it's probably like thing I probably do need to change that so it'll, well, it doesn't have to go all the way down here to basically loop round but we'll get there we'll get there and obviously here I've added in the highway but I've shortened the highway so it's gonna go up here so maybe eventually we can get some nice houses over here maybe Be Beverly Hills type area or it might just be a nice hilltop area I'm thinking that eventually this can work its way back down here and it can connect here. As well as I'm thinking that maybe today we might do another intersection here to connect to here. So all the industry traffic doesn't have to just go to there. So it might help take the pressure off these roads because we're not doing so well with traffic. We're on 69%. So at the moment the traffic is really really backing up especially there over here not so much but we do still have some issues and obviously with that train I've managed to fit the train in here and it's not being used too much but obviously at the moment there's not much over the other way but got it here so it goes under some of the traffic here under here I've changed this little bit here so it I'm able to get the train underneath and the railway here I mean the railway the road under here so stuff like that so tell me in the comments guys what you think of what I've done so far and obviously we'll now carry on with this episode and we'll see where we can take it this time but at the moment I actually enjoy it we're not going to do high density there actually we're going to do some just normal residential demand just to fill it in like so so obviously today I think I think we might first concentrate on getting this intersection in just because I'm hoping it might ease the traffic as it were. Now we've got enough money, I'm just hoping we're going to have enough room to fit it in. Because pretty much I want it, say here, so let's grab... I'm just going to go for the normal freeway intersection I think. I think that's going to be our best way at the minute and we want it to go just say let's say about there and then if we grab the three lane you can just go straight straight you're fine and then this one's gonna have to just come back if the tab it's not a hundred percent but I suppose it's pretty cool so obviously that's quite decent but and then obviously we're going to come have it come off this way. So what I might do is I might borrow firstly the idea of bringing it in one way as it were. And then we just drag this one along. Maybe a little bit further back actually just so we can actually be able to understand what we're going to do here. If we grab this road again. Again, now I'm thinking because obviously we want a way in and a way out, so I'm gonna grab the one way roads like so, and it's gonna have one that's gonna go like so to come in, and then I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make this one actually come off two ways. It's gonna go to there if I can get that to just angle just ever so slightly a bit more really straight and then I'm also wanting this one to go like so it's only got one way to come 
out, but it's got two ways to come in, so that and up top. So it's, I think, might be a little bit nicer. So let's maybe play it to see if people start wanting to use this intersection. And what I'm also going to do is, I think, I'm going to change this tunnel to a asymmetrical one. So you've only got one way, but then you've got two going the other way. Let's go underneath. Just, I don't know, I just think it might be. Is that the right way? Is that the right one I've chosen? No, that's not the right way. I'm going for three lanes, but I'm hoping what I can do is get you that you can go there. You can go there, and you can go there. And you can go there, and you can go there. I'm hoping this might just be a little bit easier. Obviously, I've got a few more people deciding to want to come this way, so it's starting to slowly work so i'm hoping this might work we'll leave that for the moment and see obviously how that's going to progress but oh i just you know when you have one of those days guys that just everything doesn't seem to go right and stuff and that just seems to be this city at the minute it's just we're not getting the traffic how i really want it to but i'm hoping as we progress further and further into the game we might get it a bit more further. So now what I'm thinking is I want to get the... Now for those who obviously don't know about the campus DLC, you have to do it like the industry and the park life. You have to create your own campus area by painting it like you would a district area. And then once you go into the schools, you've got trade, liberal arts and university they're all obviously different specialities and stuff but then a lot of these you can actually create with paths but let's grab firstly let's take that back as far as i can and then we're going to have this one's going to be an out so we want it to go like so we also pull you back, pull you back, you back. So, and then this one is going to go to say there, and then obviously we've got this side that's going that way and that way. So they're a bit split from each other, but not a hundred percent. But I think it's going to look, it's going to look decent. I think, guys, we'll we'll get this to look decent now. Obviously, we've got this space here, which we could maybe put a dormitory in if I can maybe progress it a little bit further say here and then can I get one in I can if I put anarchy on let's have a look the slope is still too steep right? that's very not oh 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 okay and then what if I do some terrain editing and we soften that down. Okay, no. I'd hate to live there. So maybe, well, we could, we could maybe put some trees. Let's see, maybe if I put trees in front, would it look any better? I want it this smaller. Okay, go to single please. Annoyingly, because that's thing, I need to get pop and anarchy so I can actually put some trees over this. Let, what about rocks? Can I get some rocks in? Um, no, don't like the rocks on. Let's get some foliage, foliage might work. Get some nice foliage around this bit. Okay, maybe not so much that one. We can then get some trees maybe here.
Okay. So yeah, I think on the next episode I will grab a, a tree anarchy so I can actually put some there. But I feel like if we put some there, it'd be a sheer drop so anyone who gets a bit hungover and stuff might be might be a terrible idea in that respect. Okay, I'm just going to have to... Just get rid of majority of these because so okay, we'll add a few more trees in then to fill up the gap like so. And I think if we get the tree thing and cover that up, I think that might be all right, guys. I think we might be able to make this work. Like so, and if we grab some on this side, like so, just to make it look nice. And then I'm thinking if we grab the pathway again, and then first thing we need to connect it there, but if I connect it there, so we can obviously make that a lot lower because it doesn't need to be that high. Say about there. It's a nice way for it to obviously get across the road there. And then we can start maybe building, let's think, uh, what else can we get? We can get a study hall. So let's maybe grab the... Let me just want to get that. And then... So the study hall can go there. Now I do know you can obviously get the groundskeeping, which I might put might put there, and maybe we can get nice gardens again here. So let's maybe get some. Um, let's grab some oh, some nice trees. Let's get some nice coloured trees in. Just gets a little bit of difference and it's just nice little thing to begin with. And obviously I'm thinking we could build down here as well. Maybe if we grab the path again from here. Maybe just make that go through there because it looks like it should really, but Grab that so I want it to make sure it definitely straighten that up. Get rid of that. And then obviously we can have the road carry on this way. So if I grab the road again, which is a tree line. Carrying on and then go over here and obviously eventually you guys might build some more residential, commercial, not quite decided what's going to be this side yet. And then if we do the same this side with the pathway, maybe if I can. Then if I can this side, let's have a, let's have a look, see if we can. That is a little bit low. Like so. And then that can come straight as it is to say that. And then I'm going to make this path go carried sort of like on its way down to say there. Just so it's a way for people from this residential bit to get there. Like so. And then obviously what other stuff can we actually build? Let's have a look. We've got the groundskeeper. We can get a book club. So let's maybe say... So this one can go straight like that. 
but cobble can go there. And I think we can get one big building. There's always one big building you can get right at the start. Which is the police academy, which... I'm going to have to rethink of where I can put that, because that's massive. <laughs> and let's see if we... Do we want maybe another study hall? You just have a couple of study halls at the university when you guys. You'd have a couple, so let's go up on, say, there. For the moment, and obviously... We need to get some more details here, like, I feel like we need something this side as well to really make it an integrated little uni. It's a more of like a city centre kind of uni that's just sort of in the loop, as it were. So we could maybe grab, got this on this side. So obviously this road's a bit uneven here, so we could get it to come here. We need something over here, so let's maybe make it... Oh, it's the same fine, that's fine. Um, let's grab, say, you. Obviously, with the campus as well, you do get, you do get a, um, fast city, you do get all the fast cities, which, I don't know if I want to put that here, but if you do put it within the campus, it becomes the campus one, or if you put it, just anywhere in the city becomes like the stadiums that you have in the um, normal game. So it obviously does all depend on where you want to put stuff in your city. And like, actually that fits quite well and it can connect there. You're going to have to come way down. And then if I move you all the way back to there, can I get anything in this side? We can't get a dorm in. We need something that's very small. The canteen might be. So we can maybe put something there eventually. And then we can get some nice paths coming off this way, I'd say, here. We have the pathway again. I always like to keep with the pathway of basically what the game wants me to do for the Pacific Uni. Just like so, so it's a bit nicely built. Um, I'd say let's get some commercial because you always have a little shop and stuff in um, a uni sort of area. There was always like a local shop to me, so I think that'd be quite cool. Um, obviously this bit I'm going to probably make into more residential because if I do it high density it looks like it's just going to be more dorms. And I can probably build one more dorm. Let's get one more dorm in. Actually, let's get one. One's going to go there, I think. And then I want to grab a small road. It's going to go here. It's going to sort of follow the bottom. And it's going to go to there and down. And then, and then it's going to go from here, sort of, down again, like so. And then if we grab all the high density to go in here. To me, I actually think that's going to be quite... We're in business, we're quite literally, we've got a trade school. I do like Chippy. Chippy's just so nice. How does it, its requirements? What's my attractiveness? Oh, that's fine. We've got 200, that's fine. We haven't got that many students at the moment, but I'm hoping that'll also mean this train's going to get used a lot more. I don't know if I like the fact that that's a bit lower, so let's maybe grab you. Grab all of you and make you the same height as, say, that one. Or should we make it a bit lower? We could make it lower, so then obviously that We can make it say about there. Just so that's not as big of a drop. But if I can eventually get the things around that, I feel like that's going to be good. Okay, we've got a lot of people using this path. I quite like this. It's going to be quite nice actually seeing all these people. I might have to grab the track here. Let's maybe grab the pathway like so. Over... 
and then it's going to go down to there, and like so. Just trying to make it so you, they can't, they don't need to cross. Basically, they're going to have to use this way to get across, which might belong the way they want to do it, but this one they can cross out. They can cross at the end one. But I'm just hoping this means that people's going to start turning around. Are you going to start turning around? Oh, look, he's going to go that way. Oh no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's see what they're doing, guys. They're just going to, yep, they're going to go across the... Which I think is going to make it look a lot nicer. We've got a lot of people waiting there now, which is mm -hmm. definitely very nice to see. I do like to see people queuing and waiting for my trains. We've got people building here, which is always nice. We've still got garbage problems, guys. Like, I need to decide somewhere else to put garbage. Putting that intersection's actually worked any better. This is not as red anymore. It's now just still all this okay so, so oh, i've got people going that way maybe i should get it so you can come here okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make you like so and it's only able if i make that a one like so that's only able to go that way and that one's only able to go that way and then that one goes that one goes like so I'm just hoping if I do that is then if I do that one goes to there to there and then that one goes to there I don't, obviously that way at least they're not turning around now, they're not actually deciding let's they're not basically going that way and then that way so it's definitely getting rid of the people this way okay this is another big thing I do not want them to do shift s which technically doesn't work on a bit like this so you want you to go that way you're going that way and you're going that way and then I'm going to basically make you're the only can only go that way and that way and you can only go that way and that way just so that basically they can go through the intersections easily and easily I don't want you deciding to switch lanes there you've got to basically decide your lane here so it's a lot easier I'm hoping that means it's going to be a nice yeah I've got a lot of people waiting here like I don't know if I need to I don't know we need another way for this to go because everyone's trying to let's have a look I think most are these people on the road are using this road to go down there yeah they're basically using it to do the highway which they're trying to basically instead of going this way they're cutting across and going that way so I need I think we need to grab a highway road here I don't know the more connections is always a thing Biff another person I watch on YouTube is always like the more highway connections you've got, the less busy certain sections will be. Obviously, this road's just very busy, so I feel like I need to branch it off more. Like I feel like it's maybe it's because it's just one big road. Maybe I need to branch the road off a bit more to basically force them to like go round more, which might obviously force them to do other stuff. I don't want you to choose your lane there. 
and you're going to go straight on like so and you go straight on like so and then that's going that way and you're going that way which should be okay So we've now got massive queue that side and the massive queue. This see this intersection I've now cleared this intersection up, guys. So like obviously from last episode that intersection was a mess. It's now just moved pretty much all down here, which is probably not a good thing either. So obviously that's going that way and that way. So if I can get it to not go that way, so maybe I, what I need is I need to grab. So this one again, but have it go that way. Because then my thinking is, I can make the basically make you go like so. You can go there, actually no. So you can go there and then you can go like so. So maybe this is a good idea and then I don't have to have traffic lights there. Apart from I've got a lot of people walking down here but this way they don't actually have to have traffic lights. And then when it gets to the end here, I want you going that way, you going that way, and then basically have it condensed down further on. Because obviously here it's going to have one going straight, one going straight and round that's the thing with these guys you've just got to be very good at your lane management because then you can go there and then you can go there and there so you go there and there Um, I'm telling you want to go that way, but then it's going to cross it over. I you want to have to force stuff to go down and around. You know what? No, you're going. You're going to go that way. You are allowed to go that way because obviously I do get traffic lights anyway. So I might. That might work. I might just change this middle one because then it goes that way anyway. Like so. Obviously, most people want to just go that way, but you know, it's a problem. But I quite like the fact that this is definitely starting to look good. I feel like in the next episode, guys, I'm going to grab the pop and tree anarchy tool so I can fill that in with some nice trees, get that a bit filled in. I feel like we need to move, see if we can fit something in here at some point. So maybe a book club can maybe go there. Okay, I want that a little bit lower though. Click on that. Okay, that makes it then a little bit too low. Um, that brings that up. Okay, let's just do this a little bit manually. Down to see. There, that's another one that's going to have to be. Can I get that train terrain softened at all? Is 
So, um, that's a no, but I can maybe see if I can fill that in a bit to get that sort of filled in. Get this filled in with trees because obviously that's very open. So, let's see if we can grab some nice trees to go there. Let's grab, and that pretty much is what I want to do on this side as well. So, I think that looks pretty nice actually, guys. So I think I might leave it there for this episode. We might next episode carry on trying to build this up. We need to obviously still, I need to think of some way of getting this traffic to be better because we're just going further and further down. So any suggestions for traffic guys would be very, very much appreciated. Oh, we're a capital city. So we'd now get ships, more university paths, we get the American football stadium. So we need to think of somewhere to put a football stadium. We get the eco water treatment, which I might put in as well. And we need to think about a harbour. So if you've got any suggestions where we could put a harbour, guys, would be appreciated. Like, I feel like up here, but this traffic's already too busy. So we can maybe get one here. If I can. I don't know where the actual... Let's have a look. Oh, it is there. So I could get one there, actually. So... Yeah, so obviously guys, that's the end of this episode and I do hope you enjoyed it and any suggestions for the episode would be appreciated and for now guys, I'll see you on the next episode. This is the Winter Sloth signing out. Bye-bye guys.